Hey, Gina and baby. How are you, sweetie? Let me put this back up here. Nice and steady. Hi, ladies. Happy Sunday. Happy Super Bowl for all those people that's looking at the Super Bowl. Your auntie is not. She is in the kitchen cooking. <clears throat> and today, I am going to be following a recipe called Cheesy Broccoli Skillet. And um, I'm hoping you enjoy it. If this is your first time being here, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and to all of my new subscribers thank you so much for joining the channel to all of my nieces and nephews thank you so much for being here um i am cooking this cheesy broccoli skillet because i have to do something new i'm in the process of trying to purchase a property and when you are trying to do things like that you have to start doing meal preps <laughs> Because every dime counts. And so I am going to be making this recipe today so that I can take um, this food to work. Now, as many of you all know, I am living almost like a single woman. But I have a child, a daughter in college, who meal preps all the time to save money. She's a college kid. And she is, you know, saving money. And for me, I don't. Sometimes... I can go out and I'm just being real about the thing because y'all know that that's what your auntie do is that a lot of times I will spend $20, $30 a day in just buying food um, out of stores, sitting in restaurants, stuff like that. Just, just spend the money like crazy. And when you're in the process of trying to um, buy something or do something new, um, maybe it's a car, maybe it's a, you know, a, a pair of red bottoms or whatever it is. You have to learn how to cut <clears throat> where you need to cut. And for me, I need to cut with the amount of money I spend every week on meat. I mean, on meals. So I've gotten this recipe together um, out of a book that I purchased out of the store with my daughter. Um, and the book is called Six Sister Stuff Comfort Food. And it says 86 simple dishes that you can make. And so... This was something I picked up out of um, Barnes & Noble, thinking that, you know what, I can make it. So, if you look at this meal that's on the front cover on page 25, this is what your auntie is going to be cooking from. Now, I was going to tape this and then upload it, but Mary said, you know what, auntie, they love coming out and they love chatting, chatting it up. And so, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead on and do this live um, so that you all can chat in the chat room and we can have a good dialogue. This is one of the Christmas gifts that I got from one of my beautiful nieces for Christmas. It says, you are the best. And inside of it, I have my Rosito, my Moscato di Asti. And it is one of my favorites. My niece got me hooked on this. And of course, this is one of my stoppers that i picked up from the store i didn't put one of my little fancy ones on it because i was like hey you know what just go ahead on and go raw <laughs> so i just picked up um one of my good stoppers that i had of course you all know i got that candle lit and so we're going to say cheers to cooking cheesy broccoli skillet we're going to say cheers to a sunday cheers to super bowl sunday um, cheers to all things cooking up in my mofo kitchen. Cheers to meal prepping and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so what I did was I've already cooked my broccoli and I've already pre-cooked the rice that I'm going to be laying on top of it. What I wanted to kind of show you all was these dishes that I picked up from Target by Threshold. And these are the dishes that I'm going to be putting them in. They have the little seal lock um, cap to them. So I'm going to be putting those in there. I want to just give a shout out to Target for Threshold. This is the pink one that I picked up. Of course, you all know pink is one of my favorite colors. And this also has the top. For me, I can only eat leftovers a couple of days. And so on Wednesday, I'm going to be making some walnut shrimp that I can take back and forth to work with me and put that 
with a bed of lettuce. And so I'm going to get started with making sure that I get all my ingredients in. Hey, Tasha Smith. So I have already, like I said, prepped um, my broccoli. I've already cooked that. And I've already washed my chicken. And I've already um, done all that stuff. The rest of it we're going to be doing together. Because it doesn't seem like it's going to be a hard job for me to do. So let's get started. So I'm going to be tilting the camera down so you won't be seeing your beautiful auntie anymore. And we're going to go ahead on and get started with this. So let's see if I can tilt this down without it falling. All right, so here is the chicken. It asks for four chicken breasts, and I got five thin chicken breasts. <clears throat> As you all can see, it's already been washed, and it's already been... Um, prep for me. So now the recipe calls for boneless skinless chicken breast, one tablespoon, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, um, four to five garlic cloves. It also calls for one 10 ounce can of cream chicken soup. It calls for one cup of plain Greek yogurt, two to three cups of chopped broccoli, and one four ounce shredded cup of uh, one four ounce shredded cheddar cheese and one teaspoon of fresh parsley now the fresh parsley i ain't feel like dealing with that so i'll put the fresh parsley on there later now if my daughter was home she would insist that i use all clean ingredients so of course i already have my teaspoons and i wanted to just kind of show you all my teaspoons that my daughter blessed me with and most of the things that we use in our home are ceramic or porcelain because we don't really like cooking with plastic stuff. So um, this is the fourth one. The half a teaspoon says love. The whole teaspoon says dream. And then this one says one tablespoon. So I'm going to be using these things. So the recipe first says sprinkle the chicken with the salt, pepper, and the paprika and set it to the side. So we're going to get the salt out. Now it is calling for one teaspoon. Of salt. That's a lot of salt. That's a lot of salt. But that's what it's calling for. So it's calling for one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we got that in there, and then it's calling for one teaspoon of black pepper. So, okay, I guess they balancing that out. So, let's pour that in. And then I never cook chicken without obey, so I'm going to also put in my obey. As I told you all before, one of my other... Um, cooking segments, I always use obey. So I'm going to put some obey in it as well. And I'm going to do that at one teaspoon. Now, it did not tell me to stir it, so I won't. <laughs> Excuse me, that pepper got me, y'all. That pepper got your auntie. And it says take that and put that to the side. So now what is requiring me to do, it says heat a large pan over medium heat, pour the olive oil in. Now they said in olive oil, but they did. They told me one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, so let me get my olive oil out of the cabinet because I didn't even think about that. Now auntie has all kinds of different olive oils because I, let me look at y'all while I'm talking to y'all about that. <laughs> I have all kinds of olive oils because I love olive oils. I love the taste that it gives to the food. Um, I picked up some new olive oil yesterday. Haven't tried this one. I've tried this one this morning. It was very delicious. This is called um, Preferred Selection Garlic Flavored Virgin Olive Oil. This one I picked up as well. This one is called Basil flavored olive oil my daughter has told me mommy all olive oils aren't the same okay but okay and this is the one that my daughter recommends that i use in all of my dishes it's called california extra virgin 
olive oil. And so this is the one that we're going to be putting in our pan over here because it says heat a large pan over medium heat, port of olive oil in the pan. So let me pull this over. Put that top there because I'm going to need the top later on. So I'm going to move you all for a minute. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take this olive oil. Sorry, y'all gotta clean. Y'all know I gotta clean. Y'all know I gotta wash it. I gotta at least wash it and rinse it, okay? So I have that done. So I'm now gonna pour one tablespoon. Okay, one tablespoon of olive oil and put it into the pan. Now, I'm hoping they ask me for enough because it's a lot of chicken. You know, when I follow recipes, sometimes it's a little, I question it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. It just doesn't seem like it's enough olive oil. But, okay, that's what they say. Now, they saying put the olive oil in the pan and heat it on a medium heat. Woo. All right, so now I have that heating up on the pan. And then it says place the chicken in the pan and cook the chicken for five minutes on each side. So while that's heating up, I'm going to be opening up my garlic. It asks me for three to four garlic cloves. And I do not, again, use garlic cloves um, because my daughter's not here. Let me, let me tell y'all something. I'm just, I cook. But I cook the shortcut way. Like when they ask for rice, I cook the rice. Too. And I have a rice um, cooker. I have all of that stuff. But if my daughter is not here doing her thing, okay, your auntie will cut a corner. And that is one thing that I'm learning in my old age when we're trying to put, I have the same garlic from Linda. Yes, that's where I got mine from. I got it from Linda. That's where I got mine from. So I'm going to stick that in the sink. Okay, so now that heat is that that is heating up. And so now what it has asked me to do. So she says what she wants me to do is she wants me to cook this chicken. Okay, on, um, she wants me to cook this chicken for five minutes on each side, she says that she keeps the lid on top of it because she wants to keep the moisture in the in the um, chicken. So let's make a transfer. So we're gonna transfer down, all the way down to this pan. So here's our pan with our tablespoon. And we're gonna dump that chicken in that she asked us to put in. So I guess at this time, this is when we're gonna be moving. Oh, ooh, look at that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells good already. I love the smell. Now see, that's the thing, now that's chop. Okay, so let's get this off of here. Let's get this down here in here. That's a lot of seasoning that didn't get in. So we got our chicken cooking on a medium heat, she says. And she says, cook each one five minutes. Now, see, I don't like this because the seasoning is not equally spread it onto the other chicken parts and I don't like that I think that for my stove you all I'm going to turn this down turn this heat down on this because this medium is like up here so I'm going to turn that down to a two and put the lid on it so hopefully that will cook up the way that she's saying to cook it up. So she's saying in the same pan, so now she's telling me, I usually keep the lid on the trapper, remove the chicken from the pan. Okay, so she's telling me to remove that 
So I need to get a plate to put that on. So I'll use a bowl to put that chicken in. So I'm hoping that you all had a wonderful day so far. Thank you. It's 24 people out here. Thank you all. Yes, yeah, sure did hit that thumbs up. Thank you, Tarsha. Thank you, everybody. Yes, cheers, y'all. I like the lid, too. One thing that I've learned how to do is not be a cheap bitch, okay? <laughs> And I know sometimes that we're on a budget, but what I'm learning is the more that you pay for your dishes, your pots in the pan, the better food you can get out of it, the better your food tastes. You don't have to keep replacing pots <clears throat> after pots. When my daughter and I go out and look for things, we're always going out and looking for something that is going to um, last and it's going to have a lid to it. I... um. You learn certain things over the years as you get older and you mature. You learn that you have to change your, men your mentality about money. And one of the things that I've learned about money is when you spend a little bit of money um, on something, you get a little bit, of a pro little bit of a reward from it. So I've definitely learned how to get more bang for my buck. And even if it means that, you know, I have to spend $50, $60 on a pot or on a pan or something, I don't have to keep replacing it because the enamel done came off of it and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do right now, you all, I'm going to flip this chicken. I'm going to take the lid off of it and flip the chicken. So follow me over back over to the stove where we're going to do that. So let me tell you right now, it's smelling pretty good in here. I let that moisture in on that chicken, and that chicken does smell good. Of course, I got my old bag in there. Wow, that's smelling good. Wow, that smells good already. So let's let that cook for another five minutes as requested. So in the meantime, they have asked me to get, to get um, in the same pan, they want me to add garlic and cook until the garlic is slightly brown and fragrant. They want me to whisk the soup in yogurt. Cooking, whisk in the soup and the yogurt. Okay, so I'm going to whisk that in. So what I ended up, that looks delicious. My partner just brought another rotisserie chicken to make our chicken salad. I know that's <laughs> I love it let me tell you I love it when people try different things so anyway as I was saying you know even when I go out and purchase dishes I'll go to Pier one imports I know y'all can't see me y'all want to see me let me flip this back around even when I want to go uh, and um and I want to buy dishes I always buy dishes from um, Pier one imports and the reason why is because it's made of such good material. Now, is P1 Imports pricey? Goddamn straight they pricey. They pricey as hell. But what I've learned how to do is wait. See, waiting sometimes will pay off. I go to the clearance section and go and get my dishes from the clearance section. Now, this particular set that I picked up from P1 Imports, I think I showed this to you all last year. These bowls by themselves was like, just the bowls, okay? Because I brought the plates and I brought the bowls to go with it. Was astronomical. Do you hear me? And I just sat there and I watched it. I watched it for, we got three more minutes on the chicken. I watched it for months. Do you hear what I'm saying? Watched it, watched it, watched it. And I was like, I am absolutely not going to buy that at the price that they're asking. But waiting on it. I ended up getting each bowl. I always get a set of four, even though my table sits six. 
I always get a set of four. I waited on it and I paid $6 for each one of these bows. And let me tell you something, the quality, the weight of the bows, the weight of the plates, is un you just cannot compare it. And I know that everybody has this stuff that they like to buy on and I never thought that kitchen stuff would be the thing that I would be spending money on. But I'm telling you, when you want to buy something and you want it to last, it is advantageous to get it from somewhere where it's just going, you know, it's going to last you. These particular plates, I buy plates, really nice plates for my daughter in college. And it ain't about being bougie. It's not about being bad or bougie. It's about quality and things lasting. And I'm trying to tell you, your, your auntie has learned that over the years. It does not pay to be cheap. It just don't pay. What are y'all saying out there? We do at Donna in Maryland, 15 minutes up the highway sales all the time. Our pepperon imports just turned into a clinch. Okay. That's a great deal. Okay. Good deal there, pretty. That is beautiful. Thank you. That's right, Randy John Thompson. Wait for the clearance. I wait for the clearance on everything, especially when it's something that I have been looking at for quite some time. Like, I am going to wait for that thing to, to, to go on sale. It's just, to me, it's just... It's just better. They have everything, but it's new and good prices. Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn this back around. I'm going to move this chicken off, and then we're going to start going into um, preparing the rest of the meal. I'm over here washing dishes, y'all. I'll be right there. All right, so the five minutes is now up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to flip this camera around and we're going to move on with the next process of cooking this chicken broccoli skillet that your auntie is going to rub down on, okay? Trust me on that. So here we go, ladies. Let me flip this camera. And now you are back in that pan. Look at that moisture that's in there with that chicken. Whoo, you better stop that style. Oh, y'all. So now they said, after you have cooked this chicken for a while, so now they, what they want me to do is in this same pan, they want me to put my garlic in. So they want me to remove the chicken out. So I'm removing the chicken out. That looks so good. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah. That's what my sister says all the time. My sister lives in, for most of you all that know, I have an older sister who lives in Florence, South Carolina, just as country as she can be, okay, just a southern old bell, just a southern bell, and she always says, ooh, child, ooh, child. So I'm just going to remove these chickens out of here. And so now what they're asking for me to do is in the same pan, they want me to add garlic in and they want me to cook this garlic. So what they're asking me for is four to five garlic cloves. I think that four to five garlic cloves is equivalent to a tablespoon. So I am gonna put that in. Y'all, oh my God. Just the, ooh. Put a little bit of garlic juice in there too. Come on, Ann. That's not letting me in. So let me get just a little bit more of this. Because I can stomach some garlic, okay? So I will do some extra garlic, okay? Ain't going to never kill me. And so now what they're asking me to do is cook this until these garlic, this garlic turns brown. Oh, my God, y'all. This smells so good. Yes, let me grab this wine glass and take me a sip. Clink, 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 clink. Okay. Mmm. So that garlic looks nice and good, doesn't it, y'all? Oh, that looks good. You also have to make sure, too, when we're talking about dishes, you have to make sure, too, that you don't use um, spatulas, um, fork, um, steel or metal forks, 
and knives and stuff like that in your thing. The best thing to use is plastic, maybe wood or silicone because you what you don't want to do is damage the enamel or the coating or the covering that is on your plant on your pot and your plant your pans. There's no need of going out and buying good pots and pans only to destroy them by putting, you know, things in it that you should not put in it. That's going to destroy the enamel. So right now we're looking at that and that garlic has been cooked. It doesn't say how long. It just says cook it until it has turned brown. And now what it's asking me to do is to whisk this, the Greek. It's saying whisk in the soup and the yogurt. So we're going to put the yogurt in first. I have my silicone. Okay. And I'm going to whisk this in. Now, I don't know what they mean by whisk. So, this is cream of chicken soup that they've asked me to put in here with this. Wow, y'all. This is smelling delicious already. And I'm going to tell you right now, that garlic... I'm so ready to put some more garlic in it. I don't know what to do with myself. I think I'm kind of shaking. Trying to um, debate on whether or not I'm going to put me some more garlic up in that blickety. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. Y'all, this is smelling so good. So, I think I got most of it out of the can. So, I'm going to stir that around. I guess... That's what they call whisk. I don't know. I'm from D.C. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's called stir. Okay. Now, this is definitely simmered down. So, I'm going to stir some of this in. And then I'm going to put my Greek yogurt in. It calls for, this particular recipe calls for um, one, a half a cup of plain yogurt, which is four ounces. And so, what I did was I picked up. Chabardi, Chabani, and I picked up five and three ounces of it. And so I'm going to make sure that I leave some of this in there. This already needs to be stirred up. And we're going to dump that in with the other side. This is calling for four ounces. I'm going to try to guesstimate. Um, an ounce still being left in here. So, I'll guesstimate that that's an ounce. Oh! Oh my God, y'all. That smells good. And so now what they're asking me to do is cook, stirring often until the mixture is hot and bubbly. So, I'm going to bring... The flame back up. I'm going to wash this off and I'll be right back so I can continue to stir it. I hope that you all are enjoying this. This seems like a really simple meal. And what I will be doing with this is I will be making sure to put the um, items and the instructions down in the description box. So that this can be something that you all can make for your family and friends. I can tell you right now that the fragrance is some kind of smelling good um it's amazing with a couple of ingredients on what you can do in the meal that you can make again this is for meal prepping so i can take this to work um and it'll last me for you know one meal today and a meal for um tuesday and wednesday i'm also starting my um, weight loss journey again I'm trying to get the meal off. So as you all can see, this is starting to bubble on the edges. And I'm continuing to stir so that it doesn't start sticking in the pan. I had to turn this up a little bit. And so now it says reduce the heat. Wait until the mixture is hot and bubbly. And now it's telling me, and we see that the mixture is hot and bubbly. And now it's telling it to reduce the heat on it, which is fine. Now it's telling me to add the broccoli to the pan. The, add the chicken and broccoli to the pan. Sure, I can do just that. Okay, so I'm about to add the broccoli that I've already pre-cooked. 
so that I wouldn't have y'all out here all damn night. And what I did with the broccoli is I steamed it in the cotton freaking steam bag, okay? Because I ain't got time. So I'm going to put that broccoli in that's already been cooked. Oh my God, that look good. They asked for, can't remember how many cups. So I'm going to stir that broccoli around in there. Oh yeah, that's already smelling. Oh my God. And they told me to add the chicken back in. My hands is clean. Ooh. Ooh. My hands are clean, y'all. I just don't want to pour it in because I don't want to spatter. And, ah, God dang it, that burnt my finger. <laughs> and we're going to put that in there. Put that down in the sink. And now what it's asking me to do is stir that just around just a little teeny bit. And it says sprinkle the cheese over the chicken and the broccoli and cover and cook until chicken is cooked thoroughly. So let's take and put this to the side while I get the um, cheese. I'm going to get my measuring cups. So it's asking for how much cheese? A cup. And this is four ounces. My four ounce measuring cup. And I have my cheddar cheese. And I'm going to pour that into that mixture. Y'all think that look good so far? What y'all think? Y'all think that look good? Yes. I don't see no comments. I hope it ain't freeze again. Did it freeze? Don't look like it. So now I'm going to put that cheese in here that it asked me to sprinkle on top of it. And one of the things that I do for people when I cook meals like this is that I always try to prep the, um, so now it's asking me to just go ahead on and put a top on that and let that simmer. And in the meantime, I will be closing up everything. Y'all, that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is make sure I leave my cheese out just in case. But like I said, when I have gas stove or stuff like that, so when I have gas and things like over like that, I always take and garnish the plates and make the plates look really nice and all of that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so what I would have done if I was having a house party or just entertaining a, a you know, a male suitor or something like that, I would take and sprinkle cheese on it, you know, right before I serve it to them. Because, you know, you got to serve, you know, you have to serve, you know, when you're serving a man. Okay? You got to give it to him. You know, you got to give him something he can eat and feel. And so, you know, <laughs> you know, if it was, you know, having a man up over here. It would be definitely swerving. Okay. Be right back. Going to the trash can. You got to always give them something that they can feel. So in the meantime, I'm going to take out one of my nice little plates. And while that's cooking, my daughter gets into my stuff. So you know what? I can't have to find anything in my cabinets. You know, you love your kids. You love your kids. But I'm trying to tell you, they can get on your damn nerve at times. Because they always got their hand in something. And, you know, you call yourself keeping your stuff a certain way, and they all up in your stuff. Now, I don't know if y'all go through stuff like that. But I go through things like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since this is telling me cook for 10 minutes... Or until the, the chicken is cooked through. Since I used um, 
since I used um, 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 thin chicken slices, it should not take much for this to cook. Now I'm gonna turn this around real quick so you all can see it because this looks delicious, y'all. Okay, auntie about to pull the top off this. Don't y'all scream, okay? Don't scream all at one time. Now tell me that this don't look good. Now I don't know, if can I zoom in? Yes, look at that. The cheese is just melted on top of there. It is just, I mean, this smells absolutely delicious. Now what I will do is move this around, like I said, once I put this on the plate, because I do want to make sure that this chicken thoroughly cooks all the way through, even though I did thin slices, it doesn't take a lot to cook, you know, chicken, breast. Anyway. And so what I'm going to do with this, y'all, is I'm going to let, I'm allow this to cook a little longer because I do want to make sure, but I do want to stir that up. And I will stick some more chicken, I mean, some more cheddar on the top of it for my meal prep and for my plate. So in the meantime, in the between time, we're going to switch back over here. And now I'm going to go ahead on and prepare. Now, y'all know our auntie always cook with a candle. And again, that's for scent purposes. So now what I need to do is start putting stuff up. I do believe that, you know, when you are cooking, that you should make sure that your stuff goes up immediately because the last thing you want to be doing is sitting up there eating a meal, get all full and burp and all of that kind of stuff. And then you got to come back and clean up. No, I cook and clean as I'm going through the process. Clean, clean, clean for the other people that's on here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. Now, you all know that your auntie, you know, hides her. Uh, well, not hide. I'll be watching this over from the beginning and cooking this soon, yummy. Good. I'm so happy about that. Thank you for them glasses, uh, the G. So, I'm going to put these olive oils back in. I always try to put everything in with the label showing out so that you ain't got to be searching all around for stuff. I hate that. All right. So, I have my plate out. That meal should only be cooking a few more minutes. But that will give me time to do dishes. Again, like I said, the best thing to do is cook and, and clean. Can we repeat after me? Cook and clean. Do it at the same time, y'all, so that you don't have to be going through no whole bunch of, like, I, I don't like it. I want to make sure that my stuff is done. So I'm going to be meal prepping this and serving it on the plate. I'm going to start my oven because I have some of these breadsticks me and um, mary were talking today and we both were talking about how bread is our weakness and i'm gonna tell you right now i love me a piece of bread so i just need to look on here and see what they saying they saying the conventional oven they want me to turn this mofo up to 425 okay and i do not like cooking anything on the 425 but i'm gonna do what they said so once the oven gets up to 425 Look at that convenience. Now there are times, hold on y'all, let me take this up. Now there are times when I will cook, um, I always squeeze my cans together like that so that blade doesn't come out. Now there are times when I do cook, what is that? Cook and clean and leave my dish thing out. But for the most part, it always gets washed and up underneath the bottom. I cannot have it out on my counter. And I know some people do it. 
I hide it because again, I like counter. I'm always putting it down at the bottom. But you know, again, you know, when I'm when I'm doing what I do with the whoop whoop and the boop boop boop, I like to cook and clean because I don't want to have to come back and cook and clean later on. And I also believe that we should teach our children that when you go to somebody's house and somebody has slaved all day long, that you need to learn how to help the hostess by cleaning for them. And I'm not saying that you have to go in there and bust every pot and pan imaginable to mankind. But I am saying that the person that cooks should not be the same person that cleans. That's just a pet peeve of mine. It's something that I grew up with in my generation, but this generation has not been taught to, you know, to be gracious to a hostess. Some people, you know, young folk now, they go to people's houses, sit up in there and eat and run out the door and don't even think about all the things that the hostess has done in order to make this, you know, an enjoyable meal. Today, people are celebrating all over the United States of America, the Super Bowl. And they're having Super Bowl parties and going all out and grocery shopping, making certain special meals, chicken wings and all of that, having things catered in their home. And you have some people who are going to go to these people who at least ask the, what is it that I can do to assist you today? I know you've been working really hard on this Super Bowl meal for all of us. And I just want to know, what is it that I can do? Got to clean these handles. What is it that I can do to assist you with having a seat, being able to sit down and entertain your guests? Young people do not think about that anymore. So anyway, that's just a, a, a thought. It's just a thought. All right, so now what I'm going to do is remove the top of these dishes. And I have my plate out. And again, this plate is also from Ikea. I mean, Pier 1 Imports. What am I talking about Ikea, girl? You know you ain't buying nothing out of Ikea. So, <laughs> so this is now what I'm going to do to prep. So again, like I said, this is chicken skillet. They tell you to serve it on rice. And what I did was I already pre-cooked my rice. So that I can just lay that out onto a plate. And so I'm going to break that rice up. Oh my God, that looks so good. And again, this was one of those Norse Lipton, I mean, you know, little Norse rice dishes. And I'm going to take that and put that on this plate. So that that chicken and broccoli dish can sit on top of that. And I'm also going to take some of this rice and stick it in my dish for work. Now I'm going to be working out every day from 4.30 to 6.30 every day. And so now I now have my rice in my dish. And I have a little bit of it that's left over. I leave that left over because every time your auntie cooks something, them bitches be asking for it, okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to leave a little bit for my work husband, okay? Because I love my work husband. And every time I eat something, I bring him some. The only thing I can't bring him, for some reason, every time I bring my work husband ribs, he be pooping all day. And... So I don't know what's going on with his system where he got to be pooping, pooping, and pooping, and pooping all day. But it irritates the dog, you know, whatever else, oh, your auntie. And I'm like, look, I didn't be bring you no beans. Now, what I brought you to was some daggone ribs. And, I mean, your auntie can cook some ribs. Y'all remember those ribs I made, the, what, the week before last? I took them to him. He pooed and pooed it. I mean, he pooed it all day. I said, you, you just nasty. So, you know, I told him, I, I, I just, I don't know if I can bring him any more ribs. But this chicken dish, he should be able to eat. Because we go, you know, to restaurants and stuff like that. And hopefully he'll be able to, you know, digest that. But that, my work husband, 
I cannot take him ribs. And, and the thing about it is everybody that sits around him, they be like, mm, your girlfriend must have, your wifey must have brought you some ribs. So anyway, these two dishes are ready for prepping, for, I mean, ready for tomorrow. And we're going to turn this camera around because we're going to lay our chicken in it now. Okay, so I just need to bring this down because y'all know I'm anal, right? I want this to be neat. And the thing about it is I would walk on my mofo tiptoes to make sure, okay, that this stays like this. I would walk on my mofo tiptoes through tip, uh, uh, through thumbtacks to make sure that it looks neat because that's how anal I am about my food not touching till I want it to touch. So I'm gonna stick these into the oven. And give it a cook time. Or more than what they said. Seven minutes. And the temperature has not gotten up there. So y'all, we're going to flip over. I'm hoping y'all enjoying this. So we're going to flip over, y'all. And now we're going to go down to this chicken. And we're going to see what it look like, okay? Oh, my God. Would y'all look at that? The fragrance that is coming out of there is outstanding. Look at how cheesy that is. You can see the broccoli pieces. The chicken is nice and oh yes you all. This looks great. So now what we need to do is move this over to the plate. So what I'm going to use to do that is a spoon and a tongue. So I'm going to move this out the way. Let me check the camera to see whether or not y'all can see the other side. Oh my God, y'all. Look at that. That, it, just the aroma, the fragrance in the room. Okay, so I'm going to turn that so that you all can see me plate this. So I'm going to take the chicken out. Look at that. Look at the heat and the, oh. Oh my goodness, where's my spoon? Look at those garlic bite sizes. Oh my God, y'all, I cannot wait to bite into that garlic. Look at that. That garlic looks some kind of good. And now I'm going to plate the two dishes. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Oh my God. All right, so let me plate. I'm going to take the rest of that and put that in that pan for my work husband. Y'all, this smells so delicious. And this really did not take me a long time to do.
So I'm going to let these cool so that I can wipe them down. But this. Okay. So I am going to be first partaker and I am going to taste this meal. Why don't you all join me as I taste it? So let's see what this tastes like. Now, one thing about your auntie, she's going to be honest. So if it tastes like a piece of ch I'm going to act like it tastes like a piece of ch Okay? Now, my, 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 let's taste. Shall we? Let's taste, y'all. Thank you, um, Jean Ann. Bon appetit. Let's cut it. Oh, yeah, that chicken is nice and tender, y'all. Nice and tender. It's cooked all the way through. If you all can see. Let me see how to show you. That chicken is cooked all the way through. Thank you for the love from the UK. That's the chicken and the broccoli and the cheese. But what I want to do though is I want to put a little bit more cheese on the top of all of these. That's what I meant to do. So I want to sprinkle some more cheese on there. Let's sprinkle some more cheese on here. Just one second, y'all. And let those melt on their own. So let me put a little bit more of the stuff on it so it could be a little hot. Can't, can't do that. So I put some more cheese on here, y'all, so that can melt down some. All right, so I'm getting ready to taste. Here we go. So I got a fork. Got my fork. Hold on, let me bring it down so y'all can see y'all um, auntie. All right, so I put some more cheese on there. As y'all can see, that cheese is starting to melt. Look at that, y'all. It's already starting to melt. Let me show y'all. Okay. So let's cut this. Have to cook, cut it smaller. Because I ain't got no big old mouth unless, you know. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to pick up this. We're going to pick up some of this cheese and this broccoli. And some of this rice. And let's see how it tastes. Hold on. Let's try it, y'all. Let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, my Goodness, this is good. Y'all, this broccoli, I had already cooked this and steamed this earlier. Delicious. Let's see. Just the right amount of seasoning with the garlic. The cheese, I can taste the pepper. I can taste a little ting of the obey. What I would do with this the next time that I cook this is that I will reduce that salt. God damn it. I gotta take these out, y'all. Just one second. They beeping like crazy. Hold on, let me find my way in the crap. Oh, okay, it's so over here. Okay. 
y'all. This right here is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. With a nice good glass of wine. Y'all, I hope that y'all have enjoyed this as much as I'm about to sit up here and grub and enjoy. You have you are you have a picky eater in the house. That might work. Yum. Auntie will add the recipe in the description box. Absolutely, I will. Absolutely, I will. Y'all, let me tell y'all, this is so cotton freaking good. And I'm going to have to bid y'all a fond farewell. Let me tell you, you so welcome, Julianne. I promise I will put everything clink, clink, clink to you. Clink, clink, clink to you too, Miss Michelle. Miss Michelle, you know what? Let me show you something before I go. Girl, look what I pulled out and had to wash. And I always keep it in the same set that you sent it to me in. Do you remember sending me these, Miss Michelle? I keep them in the same box. Yes, I do, Miss Michelle. You sent me those, Miss Michelle. <laughs> she told me, oh, cute. Yes, you sent them to me. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for being here with Auntie. I'm um, cooking our chicken um, broccoli skillet dish. I am going to sit down and enjoy it again. I thank you all so much. Enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday doing whatever you do. I love you all to pieces, and I will talk to you later. Mwah. Make sure you share this video with your